Using the resources of the Jerry Falwell Library at Liberty University, specifically the American History and Life Full Text Database, this discussion will focus on some of the recent developments in military technology, focusing on aviation, but not in the traditional sense of the technology itself, but of its role within geopolitical, political, social, and societal influences and change. References from the selected database were chosen specifically for both their technical content and general descriptive overview but equally, if not more importantly, for their tie-in between the technical needs and developments within the military to other non-technical influences that shape that military through society environment and environment that we live in. Thus providing a basis and the background for future technical developments, author Peter Hugel begins his discussion of the early technical developments of the airplane from just prior to World War I to the mid 1930s by focusing on two critical elements that needed the most development. Those two items, not surprisingly, were the development of significantly improved engines and the equally significant improvements in aerodynamics, particularly in reducing drag. Again, in addition to the technology itself, Ewell cites the increasing competitiveness in the financial world between London and New York as providing the impetus for developing rapid air transport over the Atlantic, which did not occur on a regular basis until 1939, when aircraft designs had matured significantly. He turned to former Secretary of Defense, William Perry, in his journal article entitled Forward, where he relates current American military strength to the past, as well as to our current national rivals, but also he notes that the United States essentially spends about the same on his military as the rest of the world combined, but cautions that new and different threats are continuously arising, which keeps the military in a state of uncertainty and flux. Changing pace, author John Kriege discusses the post-World War II actions of the scientific and commu political communities of the United States to export and controls its derived scientific leadership to the non-communist European continent in both an effort to expand American hegemony and contain the communist Soviet Union in a single unified policy and action. Kriege further expands on his theories by suggesting that the scientific policy of the United States immediately after World War II was to capture as much German scientific advanced knowledge as possible, particularly in synthetic chemicals and rocket development, while sharing as little as possible with any other power, including allies. Kriege also cites operations overcast and paperclip, both designed to entice defeated German scientists to relocate as quickly as possible to US and import their critical knowledge and skills with them. The fact that many of those imported were active Nazis took second place next to their scientific value to the United States. Kriege concludes by asserting that the United States became an effective worldwide knowledge manager at a global scale between the end of World War II and the start of the 21st century. He reminds his readers that our own notable technical developments, more often than not, depend on technical information and development flow from others to the United States. These references and their points of view remind us that technology is not the only push forward within the military or the only constraint on its actions. Technology is one of a complex set of interactive forces and actions that drive, but also impede, nation states and their militaries. Thank you for your attention and watching this video.